Okay, in this tutorial for new Blender users, I'm going to show you how to make a video wall. It's really straightforward. I'm going to be using Blender Render in here. And you should be basically familiar with the setups of Blender. But I'll just kind of start it from scratch so you see what I'm doing. I'll get, I'll get rid of this plane in the scene. So I have a basic scene in here. I'm using the GLSL lights like I've done before right in here under this display option. It's normally set to multi-texture. And then I also have this texture mode set like this. It gives nicer lighting in the scene when you start working. All right, so then I'm just going to move my cursor to the center. And then I'm going to add a plane to the scene. Shift A, add a plane. I'll scale it up a little bit. Maybe scale it on Y, S, Y. And then rotate it on Y, R, Y. Like that. I'll move it up like this. And then I'll go give it a material for a moment but only for the only reason is so I can change the specularity of it so I don't have that shiny spot on there when I add a movie to it All right so since it's a basic plane this is really easy I press T to bring up the tool shelf and I need to unwrap this thing and so I could just go into edit mode to be able to do it and then down here I can just go directly to unwrap. I don't have to mark the seams when it's a solid plane like that. I'll just unwrap and I'll do the smart UV project and just say OK. So that's, that'll be enough just for this. You can verify that. I'll close this and I'll grab another window by pulling this across and getting a UV image editor. And there it is in the scene. Actually, that's a previous image that I had in here. So let's. here's my material setting. You also need a texture setting associated with this thing as well. Sometimes it's out of the way you're going to move this up. So I'll get a new texture and instead of clouds I'll use image or movie. All right, And then I'm going to change this down here from generated to UV. All right, And then I'm going to go grab a movie right in here. And let me see. Just go to my temp directory. Where was that? That was... Mm, Oh yeah, that was this one right here. That image right there. So there you see it over here. And if I leave edit mode now, there, there the, there it is mapped. So that's the movie mapped into the scene, All right? So in order to look at it though, you can't just play it. If you just go click here and press Alt A, you're not going to see anything changing. It only happens if you render it, All right? So if I go to a certain frame and press F12 it's looking at it there that's kind of not set up so I'm going to press N I'm going to lock my camera to the view press 0 to get the camera hold down the shift key and with the wheel mouse held down I can move it up into place like that alright then I'll unlock the camera view so there it is there so now when I press F12 it renders it like this alright or if I press another frame you can see it's a little bit different or up here you'll see it's changing more so you need one thing there's a 175 frames 100 to 275 was the number in there but you want to match the movie length down here like this click that button that'll tell you all the frames that it's using in there so then you can actually create your animation and render it so that's uh, the nice thing about this is that you can then come in and add other features to the scene. Say I'll come into here and I have another spotlight set up right over here. Spotlights work good with that GLSL shader that I was showed you about at the beginning. And then if I just grab the spotlight in the scene, I can move it and display it, you know, maybe like this. I'll go get the light and maybe increase the size a little bit. So then I can just highlight a particular point in the scene like this when I render it. And so then whatever frame I render that spotlight's always there. All right. All right. So, and that's a, basically all that's required. But then you could do the same thing. You know, you could make uh, it's one of the easiest ways to map things sometimes when you're unwrapping things is just to make them, is to map on the individual planes first. And one of the ways you might do it if maybe you wanted to map different videos onto a cube. So I would say press Shift A and get a cube in the scene like this. I'll scale it up. Well, instead of worrying about unwrapping this thing, and to make and making sure that you know your texture map lines up with all sides of the faces and stuff it's easiest sometimes just to go into edit mode with the cube like this and then come down here to the face 
select and I'm just going to select this face only. And then I'm going to press P and I'm going to separate it by the selection. I'm going to leave it right there and then I come over here and I'm going to press P and I'm going to separate that by selection and the same with that one you know and the same with that one here like this so they're actually what, what I've done is I've just made four individual objects and the, so the simplicity of that is that then you just bring up your menu here and I grab that particular one like there and in edit mode it's the same thing I just have to come down and you unwrap it I'll smart unwrap that one there and say okay and I'll come here whoops I was in edit mode then this one I'll do the same thing go into edit mode there and I'll unwrap that one as well and say okay like this and then you'd have to just for each one of those I'll just give that that a texture better go into edit mode give that one a texture I mean a material and a texture so that's that's got a material and a texture like that and that one has to have a texture as well then you just add your images accordingly to each one so then you could map individual movies on each one so it's like it's a quick way to get started okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson